Hey, good morning plumbers. If you don't know, we do everyday plumbing. The good, the bad, and the ugly. And today, today I'm in a, I'm in a different truck. But today, I get to bust out my rigid 306, three inch line that's backing up from Greece. Stay tuned and we'll see you inside. All right, this is the culprit. It's overflowing every time they use it. Be shy, baby.
Ground zero, dog. All right, we got good flow. It was overflowing a minute ago. We're going with it. Talk, yo, talk to me. Say hi. Hi. Yeah, my brother right here. see where it's at but this got cut by a knife on a three inch trap long story but we gotta be careful of that you see the cable moves inside this All right careful careful
All right, we were overflowing before after a minute. Now we got good flow. She's running hard. Boom. There it was, my first video with my 306. Uh, as you can tell by the 306, I have used it plenty of times and been very busy. And again, the film times are way down, and uh, which is a good thing, you know, for business, but for the channel, not so good. Uh, so we got it done. I've actually did a little expanding, got it. As you see, the new van, which I thought would give me more opportunity to film and teach and a couple guys going, it's been crazy. So with the couple guys we got going, we have CB and AB are just, they're working amongst the guys. Uh, with me too, of course. So there's been no set schedule, no set You know, you're not paired up permanently, nothing like that. Because actually, Angel's going back to school soon, and AB, and check that. And CB is uh, full time now, so they're both coming along good. They both need to get away from me, uh, for sure. And it's best to learn from as many mechanics as you can, as an apprentice. Okay, don't get used to one guy's habits. Learn to adapt and overcome other workers' habits how they set up, how they do the job. You're gonna have the good, the bad, and the ugly in the mechanics field too. You know they're out there, they're the good ones. You know, guys are trying, they just haven't learned yet. So many, so many fields to be uh, addressed in. On the flex shaft, you see I had a couple slices. That was from another job where I put that through a three inch trap, got a sewer line cleared, but on the end, pulling that, I thought I got it stuck, right? I pulled a knife. I bent the blade. In the end, it sliced my shaft covering on the flex. What should I do? Any ideas out there? I know I can call Rigid. They're probably going to tell me to replace the whole thing. I know I should. Matter of fact, I want to measure off how many feet I have that out, but... I'll be honest with you, I really like the machine. It, it, it comes in clean and easy cleanup, easy setup. But the weight's not that hard, you know. It's a couple couple pounds, but nothing like the nothing like the hundred footer with the heavy cable. In the end, we got her done. What do we got? And there goes another satisfied customer. I'll see you at the next one.